What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again with another dope YouTube tutorial. All right, so I figure I run it back. It's soccer season. MLS is going crazy. We going messy mania. Yes, sir. But this one isn't the one we're gonna do. Today we're doing an animated collage for potential match day to use on Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories. Now you can be able to use these in various different formats. You can use this for basketball, football, boxing, any way. There's a lot of ways to share your content. Like I said, we're heavy on motion graphics on this channel. So why do a simple regular match day graphic when you can just upgrade a little bit, add a little bit of motion graphics on there to be able to catch the user's attention a little bit more quickly. I don't want to do too much chit chatting because we got a tutorial to hop into. If you could please hit that like, comment and subscribe button for the kids so you don't miss the next drop. I would greatly appreciate it and continue to support the channel. I appreciate you guys. But yeah, without further ado, man, let's just hop into the computer. I don't want to chit chat too long. Let's hop in the computer. Let's get it started. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, so I already created, as you guys can see, the actual match day post for the players. So pretty much what we're going to do for this is add some motion to it. I just did this really quickly to get like some ideas going. I got the idea off of like Behance or whatever. So we're just gonna take this and like make it so it can add motion to it. Pretty much everything is kind of already laid out how it's supposed to be. It's just a few frames that I want to get and make sure they're straight. So like this frame here, I kind of already like how it's going. So I just want to convert that to a smart object so then we don't have any problems with that. And then like, oh, what you want to do is save as and do it as I always do a copy only because anything can happen. So frame two, then you just rasterize that. It'll keep that. This one's kind of weird because I have two in there, but I do want to be able to use this frame and like take this out of this part. So that's just going to be a little weary for me. I'm to just keep it how it is, but we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. But everything else is pretty much good to go. Go into Premiere Pro. You could do this in After Effects. I just find it easier. Just go ahead and drop that in there. Sequence. I feel like if you watch my tutorials, you, you just see me do this like a few times already. But I don't know, it's so weird with you guys because like I'll do the same tutorial like multiple amount of times and then it's like, you guys will still comment and be like, so what'd you do again? I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like. I did this tutorial like multiple times, like, but sometimes it's people's first time viewing it. So I don't really feel no way about it. Pretty much what you're going to do is drag this along. All right. So then we pretty much want to just add uh, certain things. I got a couple of clips already from his Instagram that I want to use. All right. So pretty much for this, I don't want it too crazy. I feel like the easiest way to go about things is do the text first, which would be this piece up here. And I just want to go ahead and add effects. Me, I always tell everybody I use film impacts for a lot of my transitions and stuff only because it's easier. Maybe a typewriter because it's words, but I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, we might have something. So when people click on some on your page, they're going to go like, maybe two seconds. You got like five seconds to get their attention before they just click off you. So we're gonna use typewriter for that. Boom, boom, boom. Get the text going. Same thing we're gonna use for the League's Cup too. Uh, where's the League Cup? League Cup and then the date. So then you're gonna click those two, make it a little bit shorter. Go here, drop that in, drop that in like that. Boom, boom, boom. So this one's already gonna be up maybe drag that to the same amount of length or whatever, maybe a little bit longer, just like that. So now we have boom, boom, boom. And then after this, we should probably drop in the crew logo. And then the crew logo, we could just do a nice little pop on here. I wish they had an affiliate because I really do bang with film impacts. I feel like it's just easy drag and drop. If I want to switch it up, you could easily just press like surprise and it'll give you like something else. So boom. Like it's popping in for the corner. We don't want that. So then just click surprise. So we kind of get like what we looking for. There we go. Let me see. Let 
Maybe drag that out a little bit longer. So boom. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. So now what we wanna do is probably give the background, like this little paper texture we have back here, give this some, some vibes, okay? So what I did, I created this animated uh, photo copy animated uh, overlays pack. So you guys can grab that if you want. Link in the description. I'm gonna just use some from my pack because it's just easier. I just want to give it a, a, some motion, but nothing too crazy. This is like I said, from my pack, you're gonna click right click. You're gonna add a track. That's gonna give you another track on top right here. You're just gonna drag, drag and drop that in Ooh, like that. All right, so as you can see now, it's these paper textures moving around. You just gotta go ahead and create the rotation on there, and then you should be good to go. Gives you enough uh like motion and things. So maybe you can change the opacity layer. Maybe we could just go screen so it's not as harsh. As you can see, it kind of lines up already. Maybe like right here, so it's like equal. Boom. And it gives you like enough, like something going on, but not like too crazy. Boom. All right, so those are working. Bong, bong, bong. Maybe at like two seconds, we take all these that we already made. We move them back to where this line starts. To the two minute mark, right? Let's go ahead and slide this frame in. We got to add some effects. We can do a nice little push. So it's not like you, you want it to happen, but you don't want it to take away from what you got going on. So maybe we do the push and then we'll just switch the side from left to right. Boom. Cool. We move this down a little bit. And this right here is just this bottom piece here. And then we'll just type typewriter on that one too. Like we, like it's not supposed to be too crazy. Like it's not supposed to take over what we have going on. And once again, I said, you guys can click on surprise and it will put it in a few different ways, see? It's like the little difficult part because now we have to get this whole piece in, right? We'll probably move the sticker down to like two seconds, two. And I'll probably just do a, um, a paper, uh, what is it called, a peel, a page turn, Peel, page peel, boom. Like, cool. I get, I think it gives it a good vibe. Dang. We want it something that looks like natural. Yeah, I like that. So now at like one second, that's in. And then from one second to like two point, like to the end of here. This is where we find out where the, all these are together. So we're gonna take all these. See, it's there, but it's not there for some reason. You see what I'm saying? He a ghost, man. Mm, cool, that explains everything. You see what I'm saying, y'all? That's crazy. That's never happened to me before, so. Keep that in mind, I want y'all to know that. Normally it's always in one spot. But anyways, turn this frame on. We're gonna just create a new uh, group from this. So then we're just gonna like nest this. We're just gonna call this frame two or frame one. Cool, turn this on, delete these empty layers, all the empty track layers and everything like that. Go ahead and just turn this on double click same thing delete all the empty tracks move it down and then we're just gonna focus on organizing this here all right so what we're gonna do is since this is a a, a nested sequence already what you're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna push it uh, push it like weird okay so like i said at the end add another one on there and then we want this coming. We're gonna actually hit it with a surprise and we're gonna want it to come up. 
come from the bottom. From the bottom? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe we try another one. Oh, so now we got it coming from like that. You want some of them overlapping, so it's like right here. Maybe we need that 80 and one right here. Probably right around after it's living for like five, six seconds, maybe around six seconds right here. We're gonna go double click on this, split everything. All right, so this is like, I guess the most difficult part. I wanna change this clip here, the studio, right to this, when he's kicking the ball. So we gotta find a good clip of him doing some cool stuff. So maybe we do like this. Cool. I like that, right? So you would delete this and we're gonna just put that here. Make sure it's the full length just cause you don't want any like issues or whatever. So what you wanna do is make sure this clip fits inside this square. So you're probably gonna need a crop on here at some point. So drop crop on here like that. Right now, we're just trying to make this fit. So you gotta rotate a little bit. Ooh. So now the crop, we can crop all the rest of this out. Make sure you move it there. Boop. Or you can use a mask, it's up to you. Boom. And then you wanna just drop a nice uh, effect. Drop a dissolve on there. Yeah, that looks clean. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we could throw the audio on too because we know the audio is going to be there at that point. So right now, this is what we have. Maybe just do it all the way. Maybe we make a little cut right here. It could pop in again. Maybe do a little pop emoji now with it. Give it a little extra. So it's like, it gives it like boom. Maybe we do that again for the Leagues Cup. We can actually combine these two, nest these two together. Do the same thing, cut. We're gonna do this pop animation again. Same thing. If you wanted to, you can kind of maybe cut that, put this back on at the beginning, Ooh, right here. Just put the whole, the whole clip there. Boom, right, scale it up. We're gonna make it black and white, like the other one was black and white. We're gonna put it as screen, bring that thing all the way down. And that's just gonna give you like multiple motions going on. So you have this going on. Oh, we need a uh, an effect to like things. So we're probably gonna use that same dissolve. So it's not like multiple things going on. Just go ahead and drop that dissolve right there. Boom. And the only thing for that, I probably dropped some levels on there just so I can like adjust it to what I want to adjust it to. I want it more black, obviously. Oh. Maybe we have it here instead. Sometimes you just gotta pick the best spot, the sink. I need that audio, my bad. 
Now we just gotta really add some audio on there, like some music, and then that's it. But that's it right here, bro. Just how you can elevate match game graphics. So everything, like I said, it's gonna be motion graphics at some point in time, only because people are lazy. And people are just, people want to be able to catch their eye. You gotta keep their eye. So this could go for basketball games, football games, any type of game, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, think outside the box. Think about how you can take things and make it motion. It's the little things. Like I said, I even do too much. Like if I wanted to, I could have went to After Effects and made it like a whole big thing, but it's not about that. It's just about adding simple graphics, simple things and making it work for what you're trying to make it work for. Okay, well, I hope that helped you guys in some sort of way, shape or form or got those gears turning for your next project. I wanna see what you guys are making, man. I appreciate all the community always tagging me, sending me DMs and showing me their newest work. So definitely send me something. If you guys make something out of this, tag me. I'll definitely look at it, comment, let me know what I think for sure. But in the meantime, in between time, please, please, please keep hustling, keep learning, and most importantly, keep creating. Yes, sir. And until next time, it's Ali Dope, and I'm checking out.